YouTubers, Brian Proctor, back again with another video. And this is Action Post Position of the Week number 26. Now, I just put 25 up, so I'm in a, on a roll. I'm on vacation right now, so I get a chance to just draw and draw and draw. So that's what I plan on doing for this next week, draw. So this is reverse of 25. This is 26, 25 was the position, was this position basically reversed so you can see his back. So I decided to do a front position and I'm doing pretty basic positions for now, or a couple of them, just for people that actually want to draw this and kind of put their characters in that position because everybody's not ready to do the comics and everybody's not ready to do the hardcore positions, which I'm going to do some more of that, but just some simple basic stand positions for people to draw and put their characters in that type of position. So this is what I came up with. No background this time. I didn't put any background in it. And um, yeah, let's check out the video and see how I got it. I guess I gave you a few tips. I can't remember. I don't know. I think I did. So anyway, enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, let's make this thing wonderful. So the first thing we want to do is because we're doing it from the front. It's the same thing, kind of get your perspective lines going. Now this might not be as hardcore, but I'm going to, it's still it's going to be in a type of perspective going, one point perspective. <clears throat> so, leaving room for the head, the body's going to fit in between these lines. So the first thing I want to do is, this is going to be my shoulder line right here. So the first thing I want to do is just come down and just throwing, getting a feel for, for it. And a lot of times I'll do this, kind of make that shape just to, to kind of get the feel for what I'm doing. Because I want to, I, because it's going to be at an angle, it's going to be at an angle like that. That's going to be a center line. So you're going to see some lat on that side. So what I'm going to do is... And again, like I did in the in the other video, he's not going to be straight up and down like that. He's going to be leaning back. So the body's going to be leaning back. And you're going to see some lat. And that side's going to be the chest. Like that. I mean, this, this is not even going to be one that's not going to be part of it. But we have him lean back. So that's why I'm doing this at this angle. I'm basically just sizing it up. Because I think I want to make it come out a little bigger than this. But we'll see. We'll see. And for some reason, my camera just likes to get light and dark. I don't know why. What, what, what the deal is with that. But light, dark. It's magic. Light, dark. Okay, so just bear with that. And... I think it would be best if I put my glasses on. I can see detail. Obviously, I'm not that bad off because some people would not be able to start without glasses. I can actually get halfway through stuff, but to see great detail, I just like to have my glasses. Okay, so we have that. This is going to be your center line. Of course, it's going to be round because this is round. You're going to have your... Um, the ab, I have to call that something, the ab wall or something. Then come up for the torso. Coming down. We're following that line. That's going to be your collarbone. But let's go down. Let's just let's go all the way down. So somewhere over here. So we want to have your, your waist. And that's where a lot of times I mess up. I make my waist too short or too long. So we have that, the crotch. And as I say, these are just puzzle pieces. You put them together. You put them together the same way, same way, same way. And then you, you learn how to draw. <sighs> to me, this is kind of small because I would have liked his head here and his foot there. Dare I try it? Why not? This is art, bro. This is art. So which means I'm gonna get rid of this and try again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this really quick and then I'll explain it after I do it quick because 
because so can I just do this to like get the, the right shape that I want basically so I'll bring this over a little bit put that Y or that, that little mountain or whatever I want to call it I want to call it something like that come down <sighs> Am I doing an up shot or down shot? Brian, we are doing a down shot. Okay, so I have to change everything around like this. Instead of being up straight across, I'm gonna make that, that diamond doing a down shot. So instead of the waist being around, it's gonna fall down like that. So this is gonna stay the same. It's gonna be my arms here. In here, relax. Arm, arm, neck, and head. Head is a little too big. Hopefully, these legs will not. This is what I get for trying to make it big. Hopefully, the legs will not go out, but if it does, I'll start again. And I'm thinking it's either just going to be right on that edge or it's going to go out. Center line down to the crotch. Leave a room for the man junk. So it's one leg. Probably be about right there. Almost, almost. And this other leg. Going to be about right here. I'm going to bend this leg. I'm going to curve this leg in a little bit. And then that foot is going to be right here. So for those that I have been tutoring online, as I say, you don't try to draw every piece. Here's the thigh, here's the knee, here's this, and then the foot. No, you just do until you have that shape. And then when you have it, then you can add your muscles or your, your extra lines. Hopefully this foot won't go off. Hopefully it won't go off. So the center line down his leg is going to be right here. It's going to come to that foot too. And this foot looks kind of right. The leg looks pretty good. Let's see when I start adding the muscles to it. And someone asked me about doing a leg video. Uh, that's that's on the list. I did the arm video. I did a, do a, next do a leg video. But there's like an, an, a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to do first before I get stuff. Now let me take a look at my monitor and see if that's too long. Really never too long for a superhero. That looks about right, that looks good. I do the foot and I was out of, because my camera zoomed in too much. I just have to remember to move my paper up and down. So this, that, coming around. So, chest is just above that line. I gotta find out what this little piece is called so I can start naming it. I'm gonna call it the doorway. Chest is kind of curved and it curves up. At this point here, what I do where this hits, if you are new to this channel, I do my oval. This is how I do my, um, anytime I wanna think about these names for these things, I can't think about it. Center line, torso, and then I put this, this is the rib, this is not the rib cage, this is the rib cage, but this is the opening in that rib cage. So where this curves around, so at this point and this point, where that curves around, I do that, the same kind of curve. And we put the chest, the chest is just above that little doorway, and it, at this point, it curves up. That way it gives you that feeling of roundness, and since this is already curved, you're good to go. So if that was straight, if I did a straight on shot, it would look like this. Center line, always do your center line, it tells you where you're going. This, now you just have to be a little more diligent or cautious about how high you make this little mountain, doorway, whatever I want to call it. So at this point and this point, I want to sense it's a straight line, I'm going to bring it up too. Usually I'll do just a little curve to it just to tell me that I'm getting some shape to it. And then at this point, this point where it touches that curve, I'll go across, and those are where my uh, 
delts are gonna fall. Delts, yes, like that, the curve. And then at this point, at this point, I keep going down for my waist. And then I put my upside down house. This is just a simple puzzle and keep it straight. So you know where your crotch is, the center of your crotch. Simple puzzle. And then arms, legs, V for the neck. And then how, how, how long does it take them then? How long does it take for them to teach you this in school? And neck, and neck, and head. And then you have basically your hero. You do your chest and you curve at these two points. I don't go straight, I do a little curve, and at these two points, you curve up, and they come right up under the lats, the lats, the, the delts, like that. You already have your lats, you have your waist, you can slim them out, or thicken them up if you want to, but very simple, basic and simple. I should be making money off of that. I will one day, so okay, let's do this. At this opening here, I usually do a V, and then curve down. And then usually where the nipples are, nipples, if you do this, uh, like a, um, a triangle, it'll usually fall on that line close to the edge. So usually where they are, I'll stop this and I'll bring it in. So this will be brought in. And if it's not straight down, I bring mine in like, I'm going to give an anatomy lesson here. Okay, we have this. As I say, I'll just put that little like that, I don't know what you call that right now. And I bring it in like that, because that gives you room for your love handles, which you do have. And then that comes down to the, to the, um, it connects here and it comes down to your crotch. And then your legs are away, all of this is your leg, basically. Yeah. Well, this is like, around here is your buttocks, but your legs do come up here. Free anatomy lesson. Okay, so back to this cat here. I wasn't trying to do nipples or anything like that. Somehow you fooled me. And then I'll do this. It's like this muscle here. Come down to the crotch, as I say. And then it's the arms that determine a great hero. The position of the arms. So, I want to go back a lot, and then forward, no, no. Okay, invisible eraser. You always want to have bent arms on your character, but you don't want to have too much. I don't want them straight down, but I don't want them too bent. And... Your wrist should stop somewhere near your crotch, but since it's bent, since that uh, arm is bent, it's a little higher. So just stand up and then put your arms down to the side and then you'll see what I mean. About length of, about the length of your arms. A good thing too is to do if you have a camera, phone camera, and who doesn't have a phone with a camera nowadays? Just pose and take pictures of yourself. If you don't have a, a camera stand, pose in a mirror somehow, some way. Or get somebody to take a picture of you. If you have a little brother or a big brother or somebody that's into art, you know, do that. You might not have abs or anything like that, but if you're having trouble with arms or hands, you can always take pictures of your hands and your arms. So again, we're going for that angle. So the knee is going to be right here on the end because this will probably be the center line of the leg. And it's good to have, keep the center line that way you won't start turning parts of your body that don't need to be turned. Like that, that comes there. It comes out a little bit and down there. Calf. So let's let's and the um, 
It's like close to where the chest is, close to the length of the chest. So let's just do this. Let's give this guy some nice arms. The point is going to be here. That's going to come up on the chest. This is coming down. Actually, since it's rounded. And I might shift that head over a little bit. I want it. Well, well, no, let's just go with it. I'm not even going to say that. So let's move this head over. Here's the neck. Move this head over a little bit more. See what I have. Something I'm not really happy with right now, and I can't really point it out. But I'll fix it in the wash. Let's give this guy some nice arms first of all. Same thing here, you won't see the side, you'll just see the cut bicep here, splits here, but there's that little V, look at my arm video. I'm looking. chest up a little bit more maybe it's in the abs I don't know fix it in the wash okay so that maybe one side is higher than the other that could be it that's why I always say once you start drawing your brain will see something because you you look at people every day you see the body all the time so if you see something that you, that you feel is wrong, it's probably wrong. You just can't figure it out yet. Your brain knows what it looks like. It's like looking at somebody's face. If somebody's face is disfigured, right away you know because you see faces every day. Same thing with the body. If you're an artist and you see something, then you can say, hey, something's wrong, but I don't know what it is yet. You see it, but you don't draw it, so. I'm kind of satisfied with it, but in, in another strange way, I'm not. So let's just do this. Let's do this comes straight up and curves around under the chest. And then you have your ribs from there. Same thing on the other side. One of those three. That's actually four, but you can't see all of them. So I'm going to bring this in. Or do I not? That's your... Love handles right here, or obliques is what it's called. Which I won't really worry about because it's going to be one piece. But just for the sake of drawing, I like to know. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. I figured it out. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't stopped yet. Maybe it's that one arm. I really don't like the position of that one arm. So, I don't know. Bring it out a little bit more. And maybe in. That might be better. How's that? likes that better that used to always be the hardest part for me drawing is to try to figure out where I want to put like legs and arms to make a good pose shall we say and every now and then it still bugs me to do that so I'll draw a lot just 
sketching, playing around with um, how I want to twist stuff. And if I had a piece of paper, I would show you real quick. Maybe I'll try to find it. Bring that bicep out a little bit more. And let's say there's a V here that separates the two muscles. And of course, I always do the hand last because I don't know how I want to do the hand. Maybe not a fist. Yeah, but see that position? That's got to be a fist because that's, if I have his hand down like this, to just say like his hand open, that's, that's just being lazy. As far as being a hero, a hero always has a fist unless he has a gun or something. So, neck, shoulder, head, which would be about right here. I know it looks kind of off, but I have to stop and look at it. As I said, another way to determine if your character is right, turn your page paper upside down and you get a, a whole new perspective on that character and if you don't have a mirror you should have a mirror in front of you so that when you're drawing faces you can look at your own face and uh, make faces and determine a lot of things I used to have a mirror but I moved and I have a bunch of other stuff set on my wall I have re references reference pictures on my wall so that's something else you should always have is reference pictures everywhere or a folder of reference stuff. If not in the computer, just a folder because your computer could go out one day. I thought I saw something on the side of me. and uh, Or you could be somewhere where you can't get power or whatever. So it's always good to have reference, hard reference like a book or a picture because people depending on depend on the internet too much and one day it's going to let you down one day it's going to let you all down with all the facebook people can't get out of facebook go to the store people are trying to check out and they won't even look at the cashier they just can't put their phone down that stuff bugs me i want to just snatch the phone out of their hand and just say, pay some attention to these people. They're trying to help you. But, you know, I, I, I like my freedom. I don't want to go to jail. <sighs> that hand is kind of, kind of small. So I'll just pull it back a little bit. So this hand, this hand... And quick thing on hands, if you have an arm, another arm, your hand, you get your shape of your hand. Now, you have the back of your hand, side of your hand, and the front of your hand. So basically, that's just like a box. Okay, there you go. You have your little box. And I always get on people, I say, draw your three shapes over and over and over and just make as many different um Do it in many, as many different ways as you can. Even a circle should be ovals. The circle should turn into oval. And if you had a line here, blah, 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 right through it. But do that because every part of the body can be drawn as a shape. So back to the hand, like so. So you just bend the fingers just like that. Same thing, half a box. The other finger could be here. Or the thumb, if you want to draw the thumb, put the thumb on a circle and curve it out. Like that, fingers. If it's holding something, it's just square like that. What would it be holding? I don't know. Holding a pipe or something. If it was holding, the thumb would be here. The thumb would be in the front of it like that. So yeah, and then you just kind of start rounding these things off later in life. But I look at stuff as squares, as simple, 
simple shapes as simple as possible and then just go from there so this would be that if you see okay so the thumb is going to be up right here so the thumb is going to be here well let's do this let's just say there is you can see some of that opening and let me use blue because i got a lot of red let's just say you can see some of the palm inside of the palm we have this so you separate the palm right here and here and usually when i ink it i kind of screw up because i i, I ink in a rush i don't know why that's the palm i don't know why we're doing a second circle the thumb is that little piece square here and it curves in like that and then the rest comes over and up so that would be just four little pieces going up and it would actually come up and in but it's so small I'll redo that in a wash but I'm just trying to give you guys a um, a whatever and I might bring that hand out I'm not sure I don't really like to do blue even though the blue pencil the blue lead is non photocopyable you can draw it and won't photocopy it's very hard to erase I don't know let me look at no I don't want that hand bent out I want it bent in but bend it in it's gonna go behind the leg which is fine but I used to do that a lot when I was young to try to hide my hand positions because I couldn't draw hands I would put it behind the leg or in the pocket or the cape would come out and cover some of the hand up so I have just bad memories but in this case because of the way I put the arm I'm not happy it's still not right so yeah, I'm going to adjust this arm a little bit more if I have to bring it out just so that hand won't be covered. The bicep might be a little far down. I don't know. I'll figure this one out. I don't want one hand lower than the other hand. I don't, I don't, I don't. It should be higher than the other hand. That's another one for the speed drawing because I don't want to run into one mistake and then have you guys continue to watch my one mistake for 20 minutes while I try to figure it out. So one last shot, then I'll work on the legs, uh, some detail like in the abs, and then I'll go from there. And you notice how I always put this lump here. This, you always put that. <sighs> mm. that's something I have to walk away from let's do this, this leg real quick so you have this muscle that comes up here and it goes out like this you have this one here that comes around it follows this one and it's over the knee is the inside over or is the outside over I think it's a one touch is actually kind of comes down on top of the knee. So if I do the knee as like a diamond kind of, one of these muscles actually kind of rubs up against the knee. I think the inside one is higher. And then you have that. This comes down, curves out like that. This one comes down, curves out. And then you have some 
other muscles in there, which I never draw. I just focus on these two main ones, this one and this one, leaving room for that little V in here. And then that comes out, big powerful legs, like so. You have your skin, this one comes close to the knee, your um, calf, you have some meat that comes out and then kind of down to form your shin. So this calf comes out and then down. Same thing here, comes out and down. You have your shin bone, which is curved in like that, but I kind of like to get some leg, depending on the, the position, a little bit of leg on the side. Makes his calves look big, makes his legs look big. Your knee is not in the center, it's gonna be pointed out. Then your feet. And I did my feet as a triangle first. I didn't do that one, but that way you can have that um, wedge shape and then you know if it's sitting right on the ground because you don't have to try to twist and turn the foot first. You throw the shapes in there and then later on when you get it down right, you can round it off to make it a foot. And a lot of times you will see the right foot looks like the left foot in a lot of side positions and people haven't really figured that out yet how not how to not to make that look that way and sometimes I I, I get that because if your feet are if you have two feet you do have two feet you should the, the feet are how is that okay it's like this this is basically kind of the shape of your foot you have that big toe here and the rest go in like that. So, so when you turn that, this, this is your leg here. So when you turn that or when you draw this foot, it's kind of hard because the big toe is here. It's kind of hard not to make your right foot look like the left foot because this is supposed to be the left foot. Wait, yeah. This is supposed to be this foot, your your left, my right, whatever it is. But because the toe is pointed out like that, I can easily put another foot here, another foot. And this one will look like the other foot because just the way it is. And it's hard to, to make this toe, would it be this toe? No, it'd be this toe. One up, I'm turning around, left and right. If this was the longest toe here, so it would be this toe, yeah. It has to go back. Let me use a pen because it's hard to do. It's kind of hard to make this toe go back to look like this is your, that foot, whatever foot that is. Your, my right is your left, yeah. Unless you're drawing toes, but then you would have to do the other foot to make it look like the other foot. If you understand any of that, if you understood any of that, please give me a shout out. Unless you're drawing toes, then people say, oh, okay, that's the right foot or the left foot. But just by doing a foot like that, it, I, I haven't figured that out yet. I will figure it out and I'm gonna teach it once I figure it out because the longest point of the foot is supposed to be right here. So it should go back This should be the longest point. It should go back like that, but that looks just, it just looks bad. My camera just said something. Let me check it out, stop it, and say it. something flashed across the monitor. So let me stop it and then restart it. All right, so until I figure that out, I'll just have my right foot look like my left foot. Because if you check out people's art, it, it's like that. It's just, it's just like that. You're trying to make that curve, but you want it to look good. You don't want it to just look crappy curve. So anyway, stomach. Now, a lot of times you, you have that straight line down there. A lot of people will follow that line, but I like to take my first um, set of abs and I'll bring it in. There's an exercise 
that bodybuilders used to do. I think they're starting to do it again. It's called vacuums, where you suck in your stomach. Nowadays, the bodybuilders today uh, just flex their stomach. But there's like a set of muscles outside the stomach. And then there's another set inside the stomach. And that set keeps your stomach from doing a side view. Uh, it's like this, and you have your abs. But that set, that, um, I'm trying to draw this whole body so that you can understand what I'm saying. And your chest. So you have, like I said, your bodybuilders just, they, they, they flex their stomach. And that's why they have round stomachs. Back in the day, like Schwarzenegger and his crew back in the 70s, I believe, they would do these exercises called vacuums. And it's where you suck the stomach in like that. And so I always used my top, the first layer of abs, I'll bring it in. And then the other ones will come out. And that gives that um, better appearance than just, just straight, square abs. And that's only when you do at an angle. So, as I say, I'll take this one and I'll bring it, I'll curve it in, and then the other ones will come out like that. And that, to me, like I say, that gives it a better, better muscular appearance. And there's no one way to do stomachs because everybody's abs are different. Some people's abs are straight, some people's are staggered. And it's just no real one way to do that. So just do what you do. And I'll do what I do. But I also, I put that little triangle here between each ab. Just because that's just me. And then you have some of your love handle here. Because that line is a sharp. And I do, I had a sharp, sharp one. Let's do blue. This comes out. This one comes down. This one comes down, so there's going to be that little uh, that little line right here that separates your that wall from your abs. And then, of course, you're going to have this, and then your your, your love handles, which is your are your obliques. Same thing here, curves up, down, and I'll put that triangle here a lot of times. So I have a triangle for each one. And then these abs, they go straight. It's just two large ones that go straight down. And even in here, I put the little triangle. And just fill that in with black, as you'll see when I ink it. And then this. Some people have that kind of, it's, it's like a extra muscle that could actually go here. I don't know why I took it out so far. Maybe that's what I was seeing. You can. You don't have to. And then you have your ribs, which are your five, which are like five muscle strands, one. But I usually don't do that because it's, it makes them look skinny to me. I'll just have the ribs here. And then if need be, I'll just put a little, little hint of muscular muscularity in there. Depends on the pose, depends on... Uh, if the person has clothes on, it, it, drawing is one big depends. Depends on the time of day, the lighting, the this, the that. So there's no not real. There's no real one right way to draw. So when people say, "Oh, you can't draw," or "That looks bad," there's no real one way. Ask them to draw it. If they say, "Oh, you can't draw," so well, you draw it then. And if yours is better than mine, then I'll. I'll I'll consent to saying you are a better drawer than me, but I can still draw. So yeah, okay. Enough talking and what's the name? Let me. I think I think I like this. He came out uh, big. He filled up the paper. So let me go ahead and start the inking process. And I figure out what I want to do with that hand. I have to turn it in a certain way that makes me happy, that makes the character look good as well and then i think i'll bulk up his shoulders just a little bit just a little bit so yeah so basically this was a reverse pose to the one i did the last one i did so this is this would be action pose position 26 so 25 basically is a back shot of uh this guy so with this i have a hand 
I think that hand is still going to end up going behind it. Oh, can I put it in front? Anyway, I'll figure it out in the wash. So I don't want to hold you guys up too much. I know you got to go to work and, you know, go eat dinner or whatever. Depends on the time of day or what time you watch this video. So let me shrink this down a little bit so you can see the whole page. And then we'll go for the speed video. background to uh, my action pose positions but there's really no background I could put with this because it's just boom yeah anyway it's just big and you won't see much background so I'm not even gonna try to background this and as you see I did a lot of line weight on it I didn't want to go too far because there is a point where you can go too far with a drawing and mess it up so there you go with this one number 26 action pose position of the week so hopefully you enjoyed it Subscribe if you have any friends that are into art and trying to learn how to draw, maybe do comics or whatever. Please tell them about my channel. Grab them by the hand, take them to your computer, your laptop, play one of my videos, get them hooked like drugs so they have to keep coming back for more. All right, so with that, I'm going to stop getting too excited and I'm going to leave you guys with this one tip. <sighs> Don't walk in the rain without an umbrella. Because it's raining outside right now. So anyway, I'm out. See you guys in the next video.